Hello, my name is Muhammad Abdullah, and this is a, a preview course of a business marketing course that I'll be teaching this fall. So this course is an introduction into advertising. So what is advertising? Um, the definition is, it is the activity of, the activity or profession of producing advertisement for commercial products or services. But that's the kind of boring definition. What is the real definition of advertising? It is the ability of you to sell your product to the customer. And in the modern age of advertising and marketing, it takes many different forms. So three of the main forms that you'll see today are commercials, uh, digital advertisements, and influencer marketing. So what does that mean? What is commercial? Commercial is something that you'll see as you're watching a TV program or um, another type of commercial is a pre-roll that you'll see before, say you watch a YouTube video or a Facebook video um, or a mid-roll, which, which will pop up in the middle of the video. I know a lot of people really don't like those. Uh, they kind of interrupt the, the content. And an in-roll, which is something that happens at the end of the video or, or um, at the finale of uh, a TV show or, or something of that nature. Um, and those are three really of the kind of uh, commercials that you'll see. And then there's other forms of advertising that is really common for everyone in this day and age, which is uh, a digital ad. So if you're on a website and you see um, um, pop-up ads, which, you know, a lot of people don't like those either, or the ones that are on the side, uh, the side ads or the banner ads or any other kind of static um, ad that you'll see from a product that pop ups in your Facebook feed or your Instagram feed or Twitter or any other social media platform or digital platform that you're on. That's a really common form of advertising. And lastly, it's kind of the newest form of advertising that you, that many of you are now um, really been exposed to and really in, in your everyday life and that's influencer ads. Uh, whether it be on TikTok, on Instagram, or on Facebook, it is your favorite um, content creators on those platforms giving you uh, advertisements. Some of those advertisements are subtle. They're in the form of a uh, product placement in the back of a video or on the side of the video or somewhere within it. Um, as simple as wearing a t-shirt, wearing clothing, um, drinking certain drinks, uh, wearing a watch, or anything of that nature or just kind of highlighting a service those are different types of advertisement that you'll see from the influencer space now most of the time they'll announce that they've been sponsored by a brand but sometimes they don't and in other times uh there's some subtle ads that happen when people just like a brand and and then they wear it and they're not really getting paid for it they might uh just get that brand in return like they might get sent a shirt and they wear it uh, or to get sent more clothing or shoes or anything of that nature and they just wear it and that's kind of like an ad that, that, that they go out and that's kind of the new world of advertising. There are also some other types of advertising like promotion, um, you see a billboard ad, but those, those are kind of losing favor to more of the kind that can get uh, more traction and kind of stick more, um, especially with the influencer ads. So, but the main question is like, why did you see an ad? Um, if you're if you're doing if you're going about your everyday business, like why did you see a certain ad, and and what is the meaning behind that? Because finding the meaning behind the ad, you it's almost like you deconstruct why the ad was created. Um, so just think about that for a second, as you see your favorite influencer, or as you scroll down your Facebook page, or as you watch television, it is. The question that you should ask yourself um, while watching some of your shows or or looking at your Facebook feed or looking at the influencers that you follow and you see the ads that are within it is why did you see that? Um, there are many different ways that marketers target you and that they place those ads. And that is all called uh, demographics. Now, we've spoken about demographics before, but now I'm going to get into it a little bit more, um, especially today. What we're going to talk about in three main forms is age, um, income, and location, because those are three really pivotal factors about the demographic of, 
and why you're going to see it, uh, a certain age. Age, it's usually broken up into many different categories um, from adult, starting at 18 to 34 range, um, and then the 35 to 55 range, and then the 56 to 75 range, and then the 75 plus range. Now, most of you are going to fit into that 18 to 34 range or in the range that's right before, which is the 14 to 16 range. Now, the reason why that's important is because we get to the second factor, which is income. Now, anybody from the age of 14 to 28 are people that have what's known as a lot of disposable income, meaning all the money you make, you usually spend. You're not going to be saving. You're not going to be putting it away. Um, you don't have to spend it on anybody else. You know, more than likely you're not married. You don't have kids or anything like that. You're more willing to go outside and spend it and live check to check and other things of that nature. So when companies want to want uh, certain products to be sold, they'll sell it to you because they know you have that disposable income and you're more readily uh, used to spend it. Now, when you think about the ads that you've been served lately, now just think about if you're watching sports you serve one type of ad but if you're watching a show that's specifically made for people from the age of 14 to 22 they're going to give you different ads and most of those ads are going to promote you to spend money on you know things that don't cost a, a lot of money they're not capital investments they're not going to want you to buy a house they're not going to want you to buy uh real estate they're not going to want you to buy 401ks they're not going to want you to buy life insurance uh the type of ads that you're going to be served are going to be are going to be ads like you know come to Burger King or uh, let's get this new phone or uh, let's watch this new movie uh, and those are going to be the type of ads that you've seen and I imagine that in your stream and in your and in your and in your world you'll see many of those ads now there's are some other people that you know maybe you read a lot of books and you buy them off of Amazon so in your Facebook feed you see books pop up. Um, but most of those are usually, you know, young adult books um, that you can really get into and have a good time reading. And they know you have the free time to do it. So you'll see a lot of them and they'll keep targeting you and targeting you and targeting you. And if you click on it, they'll keep coming back as you buy more of those books. Uh, that's how you got stuff that have exploded, like the Harry Potter series and, and um, the Twilight series. Uh, when they were sold as books, they were done largely as digital marketing. And then you have other companies like uh, you know, other clothing companies that exploded on Instagram because they targeted young people and influencers. And that was the way they, they got into uh, that, that world. And I think you guys need to be really cognizant of that when you start seeing their ads and why you're seeing the ads that you're seeing. Um, they expect you to react. And the last one is uh, location, and that's that's a big one in demographics. Um, and you think location is you know north, south, west, and other things of that nature, but it's really more of like the rural, suburban, and urban uh, demographics. Um, people tend to buy different things at different times, and for different reasons. So if you live in a city, you're not going to be showing a lot of car ads because you do a lot of walking. Uh, there's more mass transit. Uh, many people in the city don't get their license so later on in, in life, if they get it at all, um, because they don't need a car as much as someone, say, in rural America needs a car. So in rural America, you might see more truck ads, you might see more ads for cars than you would in urban America. But in urban America, you'll see more ads for, you know, local products and services that that pop up and that you can readily walk to and other things of that nature. So there's more give and take in the ads that you'll see. So same uh, person in rural America and a person in urban America can like the exact same things and get served the two different ads on Facebook and in Instagram um, because of, of you know, the, where they live at and, and how they would use the product that people are trying to sell. And, and I feel like as, as you grow as marketers, as young advertisers and, and people wanting to learn a business, start looking at some of the ads you're being served and we'll be able to, you know, show you kind of how you're being targeted and the reasons why and the reason why it makes sense for a marketer. Because if you start thinking of this now, when you become a marketer in the future, 
you'll be able to target people in the same way and understand and from a mind state going in uh, on how you're going to target these people and, and, and grow your business. Uh, whether it's you're working in a Fortune 500 company or you're working on your own, uh, these are the techniques that you'll learn that'll help you move along and and drive customers uh, to to buy your product. Now, <clears throat> now this part of the the the, the lesson I'll start showing um, advertisements, whether it be uh, a video, um, Instagram, and then some influencers, and we would talk about. Uh, the different ads and and use some of the lessons I just spoke about earlier on um, why uh, they think people were shown these ads and and if they saw these ads why they were shown the ad and kind of go into more or less the future of how they would uh, become marketers and how they would use advertising in these in these different ways to drive their product and and um, give them some samples of products and how they would kind of move forward with that and give them a little extra credit at the end if they could bring in some ads they were served and kind of a reason why they think they were served it. So uh, this is this is uh, the, the beginning part of a lesson. Um, my name is Muhammad Abdullah and, and I'm a business teacher.